My mission is to map the world's ocean using swarms of underwater autonomous drones carrying a variety of sensors. We are going to witness a whole new era of ocean exploration, very similar to what we saw in this during the space revolution. This gonna be enabled by a huge disruption in maritime technologies brought by the next generation of underwater drones. Currently, what we have for ocean exploration is underwater autonomous drones, which are very expensive and mission specific, or tethered, manually controlled, remotely operated vehicles. These are not good for mapping large areas because they are not scalable or adaptable. We're gonna see a very similar boom in underwater drones, just like what we have seen in aerial drones. Unmanned underwater vehicles is currently about a $1 billion market and is predicted to grow to about $5 billion by 2019. The major buyers in this space are Navy, which is about a $160 billion market uh, just for R&D, underwater vehicles exploration acquisition, and oil and gas, which is about $6 billion, say, in seismic uh, surveys. One of the more disruptive market growth uh, we will see uh, with the rise of cheap underwater drones is uh, in consumers. We are building the world's first underwater smart drone for maritime big data and ocean exploration. These football size micro drones can uh, be plugged in with any kind of sensor and they can operate either individually just like your air dog in the aerial drones uh, follow you around as follow you around as a diver or it can operate as a sensor network like as swarms of drones and map inspect monitor large areas hydrosome is essentially providing a platform technology and this will really fundamentally change the way we understand and explore our oceans. The product is a spin-off uh, of several years of research at MIT and I've been involved with it for the last four years myself. Um, we transformed it into a company earlier this year around April and we have gained a lot of traction in terms of both interest and winning the Mass Challenge Gold Prize, the MIT 100K Top 8 finalist, and so on. When the Malaysian airline got lost, I wondered that how come we still do not have any technology to find a massive airplane? I was working on underwater uh, robots for nuclear reactor in inspection. I understood that if we broke into the physics of the problem, my robot could be used in multiple carrying just some sensors to find an airplane that could be anywhere in that area. And from there we developed uh, the concept of Hydroswarm. Why us? Because we have the right talent and the right inventions that sets us apart. With the background of electrical engineering, aerospace, and now mechanical engineering and minoring in business, um, and a team of scientists who are experts and geniuses in their own respective field, we definitely have a great advantage um, over anybody else in terms of our inventions, in terms of our insights and understanding of the big picture of how to bring this technology to the real world, to people as soon as possible. We look forward to introducing Hydrostrom to the world very soon.